New tonight at 6 o'clock, the demand for police transparency is what launched body cams into widespread use by law enforcement. But transparency depends on visibility, something that's lost when the cameras fall off. Dislodged body cameras is a problem now impacting some high profile cases nationally and also here in Jacksonville. So it's a pattern both law enforcement and community advocates say is concerning. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office declined an on camera interview for this story, saying that it's a quote non issue on your sides and Schindler reports tonight. A targeted traffic stop. How you doing, sir? A tragic ending. Almost one year ago, 22 year old Jamie Johnson killed by police after he was pulled over for driving without a seatbelt. The incident initially captured on the officer's body cam is calm, Johnson compliant. Then abruptly, the video ends. The camera has fallen off. It's the most high profile local case in which a body cam has been dislodged, but it's not a local problem. A camera was dislodged this summer by an Indiana officer's rifle moments before a fatal shooting. In 2018, officer body cams dislodged during a struggle with a bar patron in Austin, Texas, meaning the only footage that existed was taken by bystanders and didn't show what led to the fight. Perhaps the most high profile fail, the 2016 death of Alton Sterling, in which both Baton Rouge officers cameras dislodged before he was killed. So first when they fall off, now it creates more questions and answers. First Coast News crime analyst Mark Bachman says the public can be unforgiving of what is a technical problem. It actually distorts maybe what happened or leads people down a path to thinking something really bad worse happened and that the officer may or may not have had something to do with losing the camera. We are very much concerned that when these cameras fall off or how many times they fall off, definitely needs to be traced and tracked. Community activist Ben Frazier, who advocated for body cams, says it's incumbent on the city to keep track of how well they actually work. We've got to know how well these multi-million dollar investments are being used properly and that they are functioning properly. Law enforcement sources tell First Coast News that it's a real problem when cameras fall off, often happening at key moments when video evidence is critical. But it also happens when there's no apparent contact. In this footage from the January police shooting of 17-year-old Kwame Jones, an officer's camera appears to dislodge simply because he was jogging. Officials with body cam manufacturer Axion have noted the magnetic mounts are, quote, meant to break away by design, so suspects can't grab officers by using their cameras. JSO echoes that and says it's a safety measure, not a design failure. The agency also offers a clip-on version, which may provide more stability. But the agency says it does not track when cameras fall off. In an email, a spokesperson said, quote, we do not keep data on the number of times body-worn cameras become dislodged. The agency declined to speak on the matter, saying, quote, we would respectfully decline to interview on the non-issue. In the case of Jamie Johnson, a second officer's body camera did capture the moment when he dove into his car and hit the accelerator, footage that helped clear both officers in a shooting that prosecutors deemed justified. Bachman says cases like that show reliability of body cams benefit both the public and the police. It's for the benefit of the officer and the community and the agency. If they're going to wear it, they're going to have to make sure they secure it properly. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.